Hey guys, Pan1979 here. Gonna bring to you guys today a review on the Pelican Catch Mode 110. So the latest fishing kayak from Pelican, so you guys can see my setup. I'm gonna take off a few stuff just to show you guys the kayak, but I just wanted to show you guys how my stuff is riding when I go fishing. So I have my battery on the back, uh, so my DIY motor mount, uh, kayak cart, uh, trolling motor, and you know everything else. So. Uh, something new that I'm gonna have to bring along with me is a, a net to uh, to to scoop up the fish because there's a couple of fish when I try to get them up and just to catch them by the lip that just gave a couple of head shakes and just whew, flew off. So uh, that's quick release. That is called quick release. Just just keep that in mind. That is called quick release. So that's better for the fish. Not better for your not better for your Instagram, your Facebook posts or anything, but better for the fish. So quick release. Yeah, guys. So uh, yeah, something I'm gonna br have to bring along uh, from now on is a fishing, uh, you know, a, a landing net. So I'm gonna bring that along next time. Yeah, guys. So uh, the Pelican Catch Mode 110 is a great fishing kayak, guys. And if you are thinking of buying this kayak and you have a great deal on it at your store, somebody's selling it and they have a discount on it just go ahead dude go ahead and buy it all right just go ahead and buy this kayak this is a great fishing kayak uh, for the price uh, especially for the price that i paid for it in canada so i paid 6.99 canadian so this is a great uh, kayak for that price guys uh, and at that price guys this thing if you have a choice between this model and the pelican catch 100 just the regular catch 100 go with this one this one is more stable it's a little bit wider it's a little bit more stable when standing up uh, and you know it just has some features that just uh, are better than the catch the regular catch you don't have the front hatch but personally I just love this space you know they gave you a lot of space so let me take that off here and just show you guys the space that you have so let me take that off so yeah guys you have plenty of space there's a net that they that is connected right there with a paddle holder which i don't use because i don't really need it you know i don't really need a paddle the paddle is just right there to uh to be able to uh just assist me if i go into shallow water some rocks where the motor can't go so that's the only the, the only time i use a paddle guys so but yeah guys uh so just gonna give you guys a little walkthrough so I have my DIY motor mount on the back uh, right there that I made so the gen 2 version so let me take off the kayak cart so look at that guys isn't that beautiful it is just perfection and it just positions the motor at a perfect angle for just being able to lower it to just drive with it to just raise it up and to just do everything guys uh, but other than that it just comes with the skeg on the back and i gotta say guys this skeg i used it i paddled a little bit before i got the trolling motor and it's just money it's just having the skeg on the back for paddling it is just keeping you straight you're not gonna go sideways all the time and it just it's just perfect just having that that mounting option on the back that mounting plate that they put to put different accessories there is just money so you could put even a rudder so that you can control from the front you could put that on there also and you you know you have different options but uh, for me personally i'd rather have the trolling motor because it's just so much more fun on the water not having to paddle it is just so much more fun and guys this is not a paddling boat by any means all right the pelican catch series is not paddling material uh, you're gonna get uh, out outperform on the water by somebody with a $300 sit inside kayak and it's just go it's just gonna go much faster than you uh, that's just the nature of the tunnel hall design especially the one from pelican with the V in the front it's just like a big plow and it's just plowing through the water but not plowing in a way that is gonna slide forward a little bit better it's just gonna be uh, it's just gonna be slow on the water and different different style kayak guys that is for sure so but yeah guys but if you put a trolling motor on there mwah, money so if you put the trolling motor like i have set it up mwah, even more money guys so yeah a couple of improvements that i made before besides the motor mount on the back is just uh just for the uh, chair itself just some rubber uh inserts so three quarters of an inch or 19 millimeters uh leg protectors rubber leg protectors uh, that you insert in there so these, these things fit great and once you have it on there guys 
this thing is not moving it's not sliding around because one of the issue is that the tolerances are not so that the this is going to fit flush in there so if pelicans are listening i would just add these little uh, rubber leg chairs straight from the factory just put them black and just put it there so that it just fits perfect there's no wobble in there because that little wobble can be destabilizing you know you're catching a wave you're sitting back down on, on your on your cart or you're landing a fish and this is sliding on one side and it's just uh, destabilizing you that that's no bueno guys that's not good so this uh, kayak guys also has three rod holders so two on the back you can see one is used there so this is for trolling and just uh, storing your rods on the rear and one on the front which is all you need uh, and is this one is really useful guys really really useful because you can use that to change uh, your um, change your your fishing lure on your rods you just give yourself a little bit more slack you just put the rod in there and you can just change lure retie and do anything you need to do on your uh, on your uh, you know fishing line so that is just perfect for that guys uh, the Scotty mount comes with two Scotty mounts one on each side the Scotty mounts guys that's one of the other issues that I have with I wish that they were a little bit more forward about like I would say right there all right and the they should be flipped around because right now when you're sliding you're putting some something in there and you're sliding it you're sliding it back towards there so if you have a, a trolling motor it's not an issue but uh if you're paddling uh this at that distance close to that uh rod holder might be an issue for paddling so the your sonar or whatever is going to be in the way for paddling and it's going to be inconvenient so if you're like me, when I set it up, I just put it in the mount and I just slide it forward on that little little notch there. So I put the sonar right there and it is just a little bit better. But if it were just forward, just like two inches forward and flipped around, this thing would be money. So maybe next year they could do that. They just take those Scotty mounts, just flip them and just put it like one or two inches forward. That would just be money for that. So small improvements but you know something that would improve the quality of life you also have two uh, water bottle holders guys two water bottle holders right there so these things are great also I always have like a water bottle in there and just when it's a hot day in the Sun it's just uh, fun to have some water on hand so even better would be to have a cooler somewhere to just be able to put uh, put your stuff on there and just uh, have some cold beverages in there so any type of bed ridge you want guys I don't judge so especially if you're in a kayak it's a little bit more okay if you take uh, <laughs> maybe something with some uh, different different composition on there let's let's just say it like that so uh, you have also two uh, paddle leash uh, on each side to be able to hold your paddle uh, which is good so uh, you could put that on each side for this side it's a little cumbersome for with my motor mount so I don't put it on this side I put it on the other side I also made a small modification using my motor mount on the back and I made a small anchor trolley with uh, just a simple some simple stuff that I had laying around just an eyelet there just a, a small uh, a couple of um, uh, what do you call those carabiners so a couple of carabiners and it just allows me to move my anchor from a position where I am close to the seat where I can manipulate it to uh, just uh, send it backwards uh, to where it's going to be able to just point me in the same direction and just allows me to fish constantly without the boat flopping around from one side to the other it's just going to stay uh, in the same direction all the time so yeah guys if i had to give the pelican catch mode 110 a score out of 10 i would give it probably a 7.5 out of 10 i nicked it a couple of things uh, for the chair that you have to add some stuff the Scotty mounts uh, the rear for the skeg uh, mounting position is perfect for the rudder a uh, rudder is perfect but for a motor mount on the back you don't have any way to be able to reach back there and to be able to uh, to manipulate the motor so one way they could have countered that if if they made a motor mount with a mechanical way to uh, maybe a cord or something you pull on it and you're able to flip the entire motor mount instead of flipping uh, that instead of having to reach and flip the switch on the motor to be able to lower and raise the motor so 
if you could lower and raise the motor directly from the motor mount that would be better but i think my solution like that is just gucci because it's just it's just so easy on the hand and just so easy to manipulate guys so yeah guys if you if i missed anything just uh, leave it down in the comment and i'll do a video on it if you need to see anything else but yeah guys uh just i'm gonna add for stability wise this thing is uh, more stable than the catch 100 so this thing is more stable than the catch 100 so if i had to choose between this and the catch 100 uh, that would be the mode 110 all the time guys this would be this kayak because standing up your once you find your balance and once you practice you're going to be able to stand up and fish for a couple of casts then sit back down on the booster seat you lower down the booster seat and you're able to go up and down from the booster seat easily uh, just stretching your legs uh, you know re replacing your pants and stuff and just being able to uh, just stretch out your legs a little bit and just being able to cast for a few casts as uh, just that's just money guys so i hope in the future they make an even larger model or maybe they redesign the hull to be a little bit more stable even for you know fishing so you could ideally a kayak guys a fishing kayak you want to be able to be able to fish sideways so you be you want to be able to do a 360 and fish from any position you want on the kayak so basically you can turn any which way you want to go sideways you want to cast backwards or you want to go back in front so you're able to move on the kayak so right now with this one you cannot do that you cannot uh, fish sideways uh, you cannot you, you know you can only stand up and just fish unless somebody else is better skilled than me lighter uh, shorter so if you weigh like 100 pounds and you're five um, five feet tall then you might have a better chance of doing that than uh, on the on you know different models so but other than that guys just a really good kayak for the money uh, like i said if you get it on on sale or something uh the only other kayak that i see that would be uh, well somewhat competing in this segment uh for stability wise and for the price uh, depending on where you are and if there's a sale would be something like the perception outlaw the regular price on this is nine hundred and seventy nine dollars so less than a thousand bucks and the perception outlaw for the regular price is eleven $1 hundred dollars so two hundred dollars more so depending on where you get a sale and you know if you can get it might be a hard choice I haven't tried the perception the perception outlaw the only other kayaks that I tried was the catch 100 and the bonafide rs117 so and the bonafide guys that thing was so stable i mean it's like bonafide that their, their reputation is for stability on water and stuff like that so uh that thing was super stable guys but i am curious to try out the perception outlaw just because it is something that has been on my wish list and just to be able to go and try it out and just to see how good it is versus other model and you know just just to 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 try it out because it has a similar style of design the perception and this one has an open deck and this is what i love about it this is what about i love about this kayak i thought it was like a mini perception or something just because of the openness of the uh, of the hatch and the design and just you know it's just one big place where you could store and put uh, like a uh, you know uh, fishing uh, fishing tackle box uh, a landing net and stuff like that in front uh, cooler if you want to uh, in the back you also have some space a little bit less now that I have uh, my motor mount on there but I can still fit a battery and a milk crate on there so if you if you think you didn't have any enough space for milk crate you definitely have enough space for a milk crate there so guys say so yeah guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope uh, you find that interesting. If you did, leave a thumbs up. That's always appreciated. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.